What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to our brand new video. So today we have the 91 overall player moments commander. Now it's quite interesting to see they actually released a Bundesliga player while the Serie A team of the season is going on. That is something I did not expect. Sorry for how late this review is. I could have got it probably like two or three hours earlier. But I had to do the packs that I did promise for the guaranteed team of the season packs, which the video will be out later. Now, he has got 94 pace, 94 dribbling, 94 shooting, 89 passing, and 78 physical. He is 6 foot. Now, 6 foot strikers, they tend to be pretty decent because they have an interception and tackle reach. But at the same time, if they have high enough dribbling, they don't feel 6 foot at all. High medium work rates are the perfect attacking work rates. 4 star, 4 star, EA is starting to realize that people do not want 3 star, 3 star players in SVCs, and they are releasing four star four stars now he is on a engine chem style he is on 10 chem 99 acceleration 97 sprint speed this guy is insanely fast now default shooting stats by the way i haven't even touched these 99 attacking positioning 99 finishing with 93 shot power now he doesn't have any shooting traits or outside foot shot or finesse shot which is a bit of a letdown but i must say the fact that he's got 99 finishing on his card straight up is absolutely ridiculous he has got 95 vision uh 94 crossing 92 free gig accuracy 96 short passing 91 long passing and 83 curve now if we're looking at passing wise he can actually play in a cam position if you want him to dribbling he has got 99 agility 97 balance 90 reactions 99 ball control 99 dribbling and 97 composure dribbling sad look out as well they honestly do He's going to keep the ball so close to his feet. It's going to be crazy to see the little twists and turns. Hopefully, he doesn't, you know, be one of those players that gets tackled fairly easily. Now, he's got 91 stamina, which means lasting throughout the whole 90 minutes shouldn't be a problem. 76 strength and 62 aggression, by the way, for a six-foot player. It's a bit disappointing. I was expecting a bit more, at least 80 strength, something around there. And 62 aggression just simply means he's not he's not going to be fighting for the ball like, you know, someone with like 90 aggression would be. Now, today I have linked him up with Pele and Littman. I've also got like some Neymar, Gustavo and Adama Traore in the team. I will be using Kamada in a 4-4-2, playing him up front, probably with Neymar. But I also want to try him in that cam roll, so I will play him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get into the games. Faster Kamada. Oh, what a touch. Can I get a finish? Wow. Okay, that shot power was absolutely ridiculous. And just starting off with a goal is something that's something that's always going to be nice. His touch here was perfect. The way he took that touch going towards the near post, he gave me a beautiful angle. But look at the power. Look at the accuracy. The keeper's not saving that. His turning ability is unbelievable. Look at this. Look how like how look how close he keeps the ball to his feet. He's very agile as well, so he can do his little twists and turns and absolute spin people. First time fake shot. I'm gonna see his pace here. Little fake shot around the corner. Oh, that's actually pretty decent strength as well. Against Saw, I definitely expected him to lose that battle against Saw. Nice turning. Gonna do the drag back towards the near post once again with Pele. Come on now. That fake shot around the corner was ridiculous. And the fact that he didn't get body there really surprises me. But not just that. He's dribbling on the spot, doing the little twists and turns, doing the drag back to create that angle for Pele was amazing. And Pele, come on now. He ain't going to miss from there. Neymar to Kamara. Little RB turn. I am going to do that. A fake shot. Oh, my God. Burba spin. No, he kind of lost control of the ball there. Just because I feel like he was under pressure from that defender. So I feel like he panicked a little bit. Took a very bad touch at a very bad angle. Oh my god. Doom. There you go. That is beautiful. That is literally perfect. That pass from Kamara all the way over to Neymar. I did not expect it to work. I thought I did a bit too much. I didn't give him the greatest angle. But that long passing slash short passing coming into play. Neymar. Marta, little flick, flick again. I'm gonna go for another flick. Why not? Oh, come on. This is what I do different. I don't want to do a casual play of you. I don't want to score these, you know, little near post shots consistently. I want to mix it up a little bit. I want to get a bit of sauce in there. And the fact that Kamara has flicked it over his head, what, three times? And what a shot. The volley going straight into the bottom corner with so much power, so much accuracy. That the fact the keeper didn't even have a chance of saving it surprises me a lot. Yeah, that is one thing I always always gonna like about Kamada, right? Is the fact that he can actually press really well and have that interception reach, so I can obviously get the ball high up on the pitch. What the hell has just happened there? Yeah, so I can get the ball high up on the pitch and go for like a quick counter attack. He is so good at pressing because of his pace as well. Little step overs. Oh my god, look at this. 
No, I tried a bit too much. I tried a bit too much. If, honestly, I kept it simple, I could have actually scored there. Like, he's dribbling. No one was catching up to him. He, my opponent had no idea where he was going to go. Nice. I'm going to mock it. I'm going to mock it because why not at the end of the day? When you're that agile, when you have the beautiful four-star skill moves, you can do whatever you want with him. He is so fast, he gets away from the defenders so easily. And the fact that you can do that to a Courtois, come on now. Come on, outpace him there. Commando, come on. I'm honestly thinking like he has, it's unrealistic strength. No way. I did a skill move, a really bad skill move in that situation. I should have done something completely different. Probably gone down the line would have been better. But his strength is unrealistic. There is no way he's got that 70 something strength. Honestly, he's like, he's pulling up his weight against top tier center backs. Commodore. Oh, that is a terrible hill to hill. I'm going to do a bull roll. Take a finesse towards the near post. He's not even moving keeper. He's not done anything there. That is probably the worst. Outside, no, sorry, offside foot. Uh, I'm trying to say offside trap, but I keep saying outside foot shot, which it makes no sense, but we move on. That was the worst offside trap I've ever seen in my entire life. But we'll take it. We'll take another goal. Why not? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. No, I thought he was going to read the inside. A natural defender, a good defender, would read the inside there thinking, you know, I'm going to go towards the goal. But no, apparently he reads that like a book. And I must say, it is one hell of a read, but he could have, Kamado honestly could have gone all the way there. No way. No way. Little pass, get a little sweat. That is complete, like, you know, luck. I must admit, it is a luck, but he is fighting for the ball. He gets a lot of rebounds. That is something I don't I do notice. He gets a lot of rebounds. He gets probably more rebounds than Neymar. And we all know how many rebounds Neymar gets. The guy is probably the luckiest guy in this whole game. But apparently, Kamada, I've never seen anything like it. The ball just sticks to his feet. And no one can tackle him. Oh, that's nice. Oh, come on. Please finish it with the weaker foot as well. The one thing I loved about Kamada here is his off ball positioning. Look how he actually realized where the space was. He realized what run to make. There was two runs he could have made there. One going down and one going up. The fact that he made that run going up was perfect because it allowed me to get away from the normal center back that originally came out and pretty much just allowed me to do the little skill move. And what a finish it is with the weaker foot. Please take, do the free will. My God, it took a bit long. Oh, come on. Please take the shot. Uh, I like, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say at this point? Every shot is going in. No one is stopping this man. Literally. The burber spins, the ball rolls, the runs. Look at that. That burber spin was perfect. It honestly was absolutely sending that centre back. And the fact that he can slot it into that far corner, I'm really, really impressed. So it is time to review him. Four games played, six goals, two assists. Now, I'm going to be honest, we didn't play till the 90th minute in all four games. I believe we played up to like the 70th in two of the games and the other the other two, they did end up rage quitting. So in the amount of like in the short time he had in those games, he went ham. He went ham ham like on another level. Six goals, two assists. Come on now. Now, if there is one player I would compare him to, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It would be a Cruyff. He definitely feels like a Cruyff. His shooting ability is like Cruyff. His pace is, is exactly like Cruyff as well. Three of the main stats for, a, for an attacker. Come on now. The only difference they have is the 5-star, five 5-star. Five star. And that is obviously what makes Cruyff a better player. But Kamada is definitely there. He is very, very close to being there. Now, six foot wasn't an issue at all. I actually liked he won, to, won a few headers with his jumping ability, but also could shield off uh, people fairly easily. The high medium, make, uh, high medium work rates made him literally do the pinpoint runs. Do the pinpoint run. It was like runs where he would use his 99 attack and positioning at the same time and made sure that if he was making a run this like to the left, and there was a better run to the right, he would instantly change direction, go to the right, and absolutely fake the defender off. And that is something I absolutely loved about him. And something that I actually haven't seen in a striker for a very long time. Now, the four-star skill moves was unbelievable. We all know it. The four-star weak foot did not feel like a four-star. It felt like a five-star. Honestly, the shot power and the accuracy hits with that weak foot, I was very, very surprised. 
Pace wise, it was absolutely insane. They could do the little fake shots around the corners with an amazing acceleration, but it wasn't just the pace that impressed me when doing the fake shots around the corners. It was also the strength. The fact that he only says 76 strength, I believe that is a lie. No way. No, 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 no. This guy was, uh, you know, living up to the standards of like Saw. He was boarding off Saw. He was getting past these players fairly easily. And if I had to compare his fake shots around the corners to someone's, it would be Neymar's fake shots around the corners. We all know Neymar's fake shots around the corners. He does it with so much acceleration and somehow he has this strength that no one, no one knows where it comes from. That he gets round the player consistently. And that is like Kamada's fake shot. And that is actually quite a surprise because I haven't seen someone that can fake shot like Neymar in the whole of FIFA. Now, shooting wise, he's an insane shooter. The fact that he can shoot with either foot as well just makes it disgustingly overpowered. Passing wise, he was an insane passer. I must say, I don't believe it is. 91 long passing, he slacks on that a little bit. There was a few inconsistent over top three balls, which didn't really work. Dribbling wise, he's an insane dribbler. As I said, if I'm comparing him to Cruyff, we're going to have to say he's an insane dribbler. Come on now. The way he keeps the ball so close to his feet, the way he does not allow people to tackle him fairly easily. And it's one thing that I was really, really impressed about. Stamina wise, he did last throughout the whole 90 minutes, but I only played up to like the 70 something. But it's 91 stamina. It does last throughout the whole 90. Aggression wise, honestly, he was fighting for the ball. I loved his press game, by the way. Press game was out of this world. Like, it was so, so good with his six foot reach that he allowed me to intercept the ball fairly high up. And just go for that quick counter-attack. Now, we do have to give him a rating out of 10. 10 out of 10. Without a doubt. 86 rated for this player? That's a bargain. Please, please, go get this card. You will not be disappointed. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.